It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity behind the lens with your succulent tip of the day. And today I am in the hills of La Jolla with Kevin, Miguel and Terry and Greg. And we are performing a maintenance slash renovation for a longtime client. Uh, I haven't been here though in about three years. So yeah, um, I was trying to look for a video that I could link to this one so you could see what this looked like when I installed it. And I dug down pretty far, but I couldn't find one. Sorry, guys. Uh, but anywho, so here we have this little sidewalk tapestry that after, you know, three years clearly needs um, just, I'm just going to dig everything out and start over. That's what I'm going to do. She's got a lot of really, really usable plant material in here, but she doesn't like the Hesperallo and it has gotten completely out of control. Um, she doesn't like the Millii crown of thorns, so those are gonna be donated to her regular gardener. She's fine with the aloe glaucus, which is great because they're getting ready to bloom out. Look at that, beautiful. And you know, she likes all the soft stuff and she loves color, so. I did go to Waterwise and buy a bunch of new plants, which I will work in. Uh, and of course, I will work back in a lot of the things that she already has. I mean, look at the color on this crassula. Isn't that beautiful? And the superbum. Ooh, look at that. Just defiantly purple, isn't it? This aloe... Brevifolia isn't doing anything for me. Not loving that. Yuck. But these Echeveria, uh, I'm guessing Saharas, right? Kind of, or Incantatas maybe, look beautiful. This Millii looks great, but she isn't a fan of the thorns, so that will be uh, coming out and donated. We've got a couple of entry planters here that <laughs> clearly have lost their luster. Love, um, love, love, love the look of the burrow's tail hanging down the pots. But see how the soil level has decomposed over the years. So we're going to have to, you know, remove a lot of plant material from pots so we can build the soil back up and then reset. Look at this one. That one's really sunk. Yeah, so we'll, we'll very, very carefully take care of that. All right, then moving around to the back, just give you a gander at the view here before I get started. Isn't that beautiful? That's La Jolla Cove down there. And then over there is the bay. And then in the distance, we have downtown San Diego, which is clear, which is right now kind of shrouded in a little bit of fog and clouds, which is not bad. It's not a bad thing because it has uh, created some really cool, wonderful temperatures for us to work with. Okay, but back to, back to the point here. So this pot, how interesting is this? We've got an Apuntia in here, looks like little Rita, which is very, very beautiful and very healthy. I did not do this. <laughs> I did not do it, I swear. I would never have planted an Apuntia in a pot, period. I am not a big fan of these glaucids, these little tiny thorns that just kind of blow around and get under your skin or just misery. Every time I work with an Apuntia, I have to throw away the gloves that I had on. Um, but here we are. So what she would like and what I'm going to, what I concur with is we're going to take all the plant material out of here that's surrounding the Apuntia and reuse it and just let that Apuntia ride alone with some beautiful top dressing. I told her do not water it. She is so close to the ocean, there is no need. I want to restrict the growth of the plant and also pull out more of that beautiful purple color. 
She loves the Petalanthus bracteatus. So I, I brought a couple more from Waterwise. They're looking really good there in the five gallon can BTW. So if you want to run down and get some five gallon Petalanthus at Waterwise, now's the time to do it. But yeah, you know, you can see these, they're just a little tired. Um, they just need freshened. All of these pots, soil needs raised and the, the plants need to be refreshed. She's got a euphorbia here that she just loves. <laughs> She's so happy with it. It's kind of thrown off some new growth and split the top, so that's cool. But, you know, a lot of just kind of weirdness going on at the base. She's got a stapella in there and, you know, some other little cactus. And, I, yeah, I don't even know. So we're going to deal with that. Then over here she has some Kalanchoe Fantastics that are getting ready, as you can see, to bloom out. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out and then just, you know, figure out some other things to do. Um, really happy plant in this garden. She's got a little obessa, look at that. And I told her, Fran, that's a collectible that should be in a pot by itself. So we're gonna, going to plant up some, uh, she's got a few little crests and this, um, this little guy that we just, we will take out and put in their very own little pots. This is Crassula Campfire. And the color is really spectacular, but when it blooms out, it looks like it's been burned in the fire, doesn't it? It's ugly, so bye, yeah, no. Um, and then, yeah, this, just uninspired. She likes the portalacaria hanging over the side of the pots. She loves spillers. Thank God I did pick up some Athona capensis, which I'm not seeing that she has, so I think that will really delight her. Here's some Jacobensii. She, this is good. I'll encourage that. And I think this is blue sky. Here she loves, even though she doesn't like thorny things, she does like her Euphorbia um, trigonas, so thank God for that. And then just this beautiful beautiful arboretum aeonium we're just going to cut and reset and here's another collectible a little grafted cactus <laughs> just in the pot so yeah we'll put that in its own pot uh, terry's working here you can see that she's extricated everything from this pot and we'll you know when greg gets here with the plants we'll get to get to resetting some stuff this this Wartkopf Aeonium, um, she's, she's done with it, and I don't blame her. You know, they're coming out of summer dormancy, but this one just looks like it has absolutely seen better days. So we're going to get rid of that and do something else in this pot. Look, she's even got... Look at that. Cute is that. This Kalanchoe Lucier has thrown off a nice um, collection of babies, so that's good. Yeah, and these magnificent Aeonium heads, we will cut and reset them. Not a big fan of Senecio vitalis, you guys know that. So I'm gonna give that to the gardener. And this pot of Rubertinctum, we're gonna just, we're gonna reinvent this whole pot and I may be able to throw, you know, throw this into my tapestry. We'll see. Oh, there's, there's Greg. Hi, Greg. Hey. Okay. Just uh, doing a little intro here. We're taking a look at the pots. This one's pretty gross. Just seen better days, but look at that tiny little Echeveria down in there. Oh my goodness, so cute. I will save you. Um, and here is another collectible, a Lactea, which, and some more of the little moon cactus, uh, grafted cactus, little calico kitten. She's not really happy with the way this is looking, but I think it's redeemable. Um, but I don't know, you know, about this Lactia. I think this belongs in its own pot, too. 
So yeah, here we go. You guys get the idea, right? Check out this piece of art. Isn't that magnificent? I love this. This woman um, is after my own heart with all of the color in her garden. And look at her orchids, you guys. Mm. Mad, mad respect. I cannot get these things to rebloom to save my life. Look at her beautiful collection. So pretty. Fran is a plants woman. She really has great instincts. And I'm so happy to be here restoring her pots for her. Just kind of more of the same, just tired. So tired. Here's some cute little containers. If we have time, we can work on these. Oh, and look at that. Terry got everything out of this pot. <coughs> Excuse me. And look how far the soil sunk. So that's going to get built up. Here's Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll just collect all of the moon cactus and put them in this thing. And top dress it with some creva or something. And here's what Terry took out of that pot going to be really interesting, isn't it, to see what the designers decide to do. I can't wait. So we'll check in with you in a minute. And success. It took Terry, Kevin, Miguel, and I five and a half hours, but we got her done. Uh, I ripped everything out of here and reset uh, everything, with the exception of the little mangabe that I brought in, special. But everything else was in this bed before, if you can believe it. And same thing over here. I just reset, and then Greg brought brought us some um, Cali Gold 3.8s, which was the client's preference because it matches her hardscape really really well then I redid the entry pots put in the petalanthus bracteatus reset uh, everything in those pots too because they had sunk so low so, so those look super super great and then while I was out front doing that the rest of the team was in the back doing this and then we've got Millie and Hesper Aloe for her our client's gardener to take with him those are plants that she doesn't like Fran has got the most beautiful roses I have always admired her roses I may be a cactus and succulent gal at heart but I love me my roses look at that that's so pretty mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay so, it never did get sunny today, which was just fine by me. It was just nice and cool here all dang day. So, we reworked this Apuntia pot, and we ended up placing a little Stapelia at the corner. And that just looks so much better. Remember, it had all of that, all the succulents in around it. And most of those succulents, Miguel worked in down here into this Bracteatus pot. Our client loves color and she loves her pots full, full, full. And, Cause see, she's got a lot of hardscape. So it makes sense, you know, that she would have plot, pots that are just overflowing to kind of soften things up. Then here, little Portolacaria Afrovirigata in her Euphorbia pot and another little Stapella here. Look at the little bloom. So cute, right? Okay, and then some of the pots are stuffed full. And some we left just a little bit of space and we top dressed with a little bit of La Paz. Little pebbles. Very, very cute. Then they also rescued a lot of her little collectibles that she had mixed in with, um, you know, in these pots with these larger plants. And look at just how special they look now. Terry did this. 
Look at that little obasa. Wish mine looked that good. Right? Just so cute. Look at this little teapot with the crassula in it. Really cute. And these are just stunning. Just stuffed full. I brought quite a few plants and we used every single one in addition to reworking so many of hers. Isn't that just a feast for the eyes? Here's some more special plants that got the treatment. Planted special. Yeah. Okay, Ooh, that's pretty. That trigona pot is loaded, isn't it? This is a blue atoll. It's one of the ones I brought from Waterwise. And we've got Crosby's Compact and Crassula Argentia Sunset and a bunch of sedums. Just so beautiful. Oh, and then here's some more little special pots. The little Oliver Little Moon Cactus. Pulled pulled all of those together, just kind of pulled it all together, really, right? Yeah, and it's just cute, look at that. Yeah, it was truly a labor of love here today. Wow, look at this. How cute is that? That looks like a little Sempervivum. I know, there's no top dressing, but that's not one we did. That's one that she had. It's very, very cute. Very cute. Oh, and it just keeps going, keeps on going. Look at that. So beautiful. More magic up here. It is just amazing what my crew can, can get done in just a few hours' time. Ooh, and look, finally, this house is getting demoed. It has been abandoned for years, and it looks like they're finally, finally doing something with it. That's a, that's a blessing. And then here at the corner, because all I'm looking at are the beautiful pots. I didn't even see that hot mess earlier when I did the before video. It's amazing. Oh, pretty. Look at that. It's a Lavender Lady. Or, no. Is that Lavender Lady or Silver Fox? I think it's Silver Fox. And those adorable aliens. And the Cotyledon. Lechuga. And Crassulas. Bracteatus and cotyledon pendans, which I brought from Waterwise Botanicals. Another stunning view for you of the San Diego coastline. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of boats, sailboats out in the bay. Aww, so pretty, even though it's cloudy. So restful, so beautiful. Okay, huh. well, tomorrow is Sunday Fun Day, so I look forward to uh, seeing you, maybe. I'm going to do a consultation in La Mesa, and then I'm going to see the succulent babies. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see if I have uh, enough time to do something fun with you. I certainly will. If not, we will see you Monday when we groundbreak on Phase 2 in Temecula. For Kevin, Miguel, Terry, Greg, and myself, this has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from La Jolla with your succulent tip of the day. Bye, guys.